Storefronts left vacant as small businesses they really struggle to keep up with some of the big name companies, retailers online, especially. And they're having a hard time rebounding after the COVID. It's just not that easy. Montgomery County has a new plan, though, to try and step in and help. New at 11 o'clock, our Alina Shirazi. She explains what the county is doing to keep small businesses open and attract new ones. I'm Turkish. I'm an immigrant. I came when I was five. My parents came because they wanted to have, you know, a more innovative life, life for all of us. Um, I come from a whole family of entrepreneurs. I help them with that. Chaya Kagri's Lifestyle Boutique is one of the original stores that opened up in Rockville Town Square back in 2008. We have survived the recession and then COVID. You do well and then there's a new challenge. And I think that basically speaks for all small businesses. She says competing with large chains and online stores has been difficult. I'm asked all the time about the vacant window fronts and the store fronts and, and what we are going to do to support our, our small businesses. And one of the things that each and every one of us has has to do is uh, reduce the number of things we're buying online and instead get outside, come into shops like this. Evan Glass, the president of the Montgomery County Council, says 75% of businesses in the county are small businesses. The county recently launched their business center, a team focused on assisting businesses looking to start, expand, or relocate. The last few years have been really hard for our small business owners. And seeing if they qualify for programs like their Purple Line Economic Grants program which provides funding to businesses impacted by the ongoing light rail construction. Statewide, he points to the Maryland Women's Business Center and the Advantage Maryland program, which also provides funding options and helps small businesses like Cagri's connected with their community. That's what gives me joy, is helping people who come in and introduce themselves and then come back just to say hello. We have customers come in just to say hello, and that makes me happy. In Rockville, Alina Shirazi, 7 News.